Oh, I'm very happy about this. It's the first good horror movie I've seen this year. Well, new horror movie. First good new horror movie I've seen this year. I see, I see good horror movies all the time. I watch them for fun. Um, yeah, today we're going to talk about Get Out. Get Out! If you haven't heard, this movie is essentially what a lot of white people thought Dear White People was going to be. It's a movie about how things... Well, no, I mean, that's not fair. <gasps> Alright, maybe not exactly that. That's a bad analogy. I'm sorry. Let me start over. Alright. You ever seen Stepford Wives? It's kind of like that. All these kind of being wives switched out. Have something done to them? It's just black people in general being being that done to them. And on the surface, you might think, is this a racism thing? But in the actuality of the plot, it doesn't seem like it is. So it's a little complicated. But let's get into the meat of this. <clears throat> this is a film about people being abducted and changed. Now, when you first go into the film, you do understand that's probably what this movie's about. You do that from the advertising campaign. Something's not right. Something weird is going on here. There's a deeper reason, but you don't know why. And it's really clever in the way that it's done. I actually thought it was really, really creepy and clever. And that's the thing I want to I really want to focus on here. The movie is extremely, extremely unnerving and creepy in parts. I thought the previews were creepy anyways. But, wow, is it a lot creepier than even the previews made it seem. Like, the trailers didn't do it proper justice as to how creepy this movie actually gets. Oh. Our main character is a professional photographer. Well, yeah, he, he takes pictures, sells them to art galleries, things like that. He is a black man, he has a white girlfriend, and he's going away to visit her parents for the weekend, her family. Never been it's one of these sort of things. You think, oh, hey, it's kind of like, uh, guess who's coming to dinner? Sort of thing. Like Sidney Poitier. If they ever want to do a proper remake of that movie, this actor would not be a bad choice for that. Everything seems fairly nice, for the most part. Until they get there and you start to notice some off-putting bits. There's some really just under the surface, just really things that just don't feel right. Now, I don't want to give away everything. I don't. But I do want to get into the main thing of this movie. I'm not going to give away what leads directly to it, but I am going to go ahead and say that... Uh, fuck it. No, no. We, we, we spoil. We spoil stuff on this show. Alright. I can't. I can't. I, can't, I, gotta, I gotta. I gotta. We're going to talk about spoilers. Alright. So... Basically what happens is young black people are lured here and then they're taken, they're lured here with relationships, like the daughter, the daughter herself lures young people here. I'm going to assume they've been doing it with more than just black people, I'm going to assume they've been doing this for a long time. Um, but it seems like they're doing it mainly with black people now. I could be wrong. They could have just been doing it with black people all along. It doesn't really matter. That's what I'm saying is it doesn't really seem like a racial thing. They just decided to use black people as their go-to. Maybe they just think black people are more attractive and sexy. Which is complimentary, but also creepy and fetishy. So, I don't know. It's like a weird fetish kind of thing. Anyways, the idea is they're basically doing this procedure in which they 
knock a person out, and they put another person inside their head. Yeah, this is literally old white people getting put into young black people's bodies. Holy shit, that's fucked up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's really, it's really, really fucked up. He, it's a while before he, he, he notices weird shit, but it's a while before he actually figures everything out. But when he does, oh, oh, man. The, uh, like the groundskeeper and the house, house lady, the housekeeper, they're actually the girl's grandparents inside young black bodies. So that's the kind of thing you got going. You got the weird, creepy, creepy vibe going. Um, yeah. I'm trying not to just say, oh, this is a great movie, and you should see it whenever you can. Just go. Just see it. Anyway, you know, you just fucking, I don't know, punch somebody and grab a ticket. I don't uh, Watch, get out. Give Jordan Peele money. He's a good, good director, good writer. It's good. You should see his stuff. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, things are very creepy. Oh my god. I don't know. His best friend keeps warning him that something feels wrong. There's some creepy, like, Silence of the Lamb shit here. He doesn't know it. Nobody's believing him. He's trying to get help. He's trying to get help from like the cops and they're making fun of him. His friend is a TSA officer, I should I should point out. That's actually kind of a plot plot device in the film. Um, which I thought was funny as hell. Uh, <laughs> this movie is a little bit of a comedy, but it's mostly a horror movie. It's mostly a straight up horror movie. Like, I, I heard people calling this a horror comedy, but the comedy's there, but no more than in some regular horror movies anyways. This isn't like Shaun of the Dead or anything. This is just a very unsettling movie with some jokes interspersed, some funny moments interspersed in it. For the most part, it's extremely creepy. And, uh, yeah. So, keep that in mind. So... Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to think what way to say this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not complicated. All right. <laughs> Basically, he's able to get out. They're re they're ready to cut his head off, open, and stick this this old uh, art gallery owner that I thought was going to be a cool character at first, but it's not. Um. Turns out he's just a dick like all these other old white people. Because they auction people off. They auction these young black people off so they can get their fucking brains stuck inside their bodies. Holy shit. That's fucked up. And here's the other messed up part. When they they don't stick their entire like brain in there, just a little bit of it. The other person, the person like the young black people, are still stuck inside their own head. They know their body is taken over, but there's nothing they can do. They're like stuck down in like a little mental hole through like conditioning. Like uh, the the mom in the movie, she uses hypnosis to mentally condition people and like trap them in their own body. But our main character actually does get out. He, he's able to escape and he fights off and kills most of the family. He kills the mom, the son, and the father. Um, he tries to save the housekeeper, not realizing that she's not just you know, she's not just brainwashed. She's yeah, so he tries to save her. That turns out to be a mistake, because it's revealed, yeah, it's the grandma. 
the groundskeeper is the grandpa, the grandpa, which explains why they talk weird and everything and act the way they do. <laughs> it made a lot of sense. It was like a light bulb moment. I was like, oh, oh, shit, that's fucked up. Whoa, yeah, kind of moment. So, but there's an earlier thing at the party. This is one of the most well-known scenes that people have seen in the previews. There's a part where he takes a picture of one of the people that's been changed. It's a young black guy that, you know, he takes a picture of, and then the real person, like the picture going off, like the flash going off, triggers something, and he's able to, like, break free. That's important foreshadowing, because... When his, when the daughter comes, when the girlfriend comes after him with her grandpa, he's able to do the same thing to the grandpa. And it brings out who he really is, right? And she doesn't know it, and then he surprises her and shoots her. And then he shoots himself, because he doesn't want to be trapped in his own body anymore. So, yeah, it's at this point. But then it's revealed the girl's not dead, and you're like, fuck. And then a cop car pulls up, and you're like, fuck, you know what this looks like? Because he's standing over her, and she's all bloody, and of course, he's a black guy. And our society is hugely fucking racist, and this is going to end badly. Oh shit, no, that's not a cop car. Because plot twist, it's a it's an airport security car. That's right. It's the buddy. His best friend showed up in his fucking airport TSA car to fucking save the day at the very end. Bitch gets left bleeding in the middle of the road. No happy ending for her. Happy ending for our main character. Well, maybe not happy, but at least he's alive. And all the fucking sick people that were running this operation are dead now. And uh, we get a nice funny joke at the end. I cannot recall exactly. It actually has been some days since I've seen the movie. And I should have recorded this probably right afterwards. But I didn't have a chance. Some things have been going on in life. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, it ends. And it's a really good movie. This movie, I'm going to just say it right now, this movie's going to be on my top ten this year. There's there's no getting around it. I I have no doubt this is going to be one of my top ten movies this year. This may be my number one movie of the year. Because this movie was just that good. If you've not seen Get Out yet, try. Try to see Even if it's not playing in theaters right now, I don't want to encourage you to pirate things. I don't want to encourage you to pirate things. But buy it at the first opportunity you get. Or rent it. Fucking, I don't know. Find a cheap theater that might actually be pay, playing it in your area. Anything. Anything. See this movie. Please. Give Jordan. No, don't, honestly, I don't want to say don't pirate the movie. No, please. Don't don't pirate the movie. Give, give this man your money. Jordan Peele deserves it. This was fucking amazing. I am so... So fucking on board with everything now. God, I just... Wow, I want to see what he does next. I was blown away by this. Um, yeah, I, I, I fucking... I was already a fan of his comedy, but Jesus Christ, yes. More of this. More of anything. More of everything. Jesus Christ. People were excited about Josh Trank after fucking Chronicle. But you know what? Fuck Chronicle. Fuck Josh Crank, Trank, man. Fucking Jordan Peele. This fucking... Man, I enjoyed the hell out of Keanu. I enjoyed the hell out of this even more. And I cannot wait until we we'll see what he does next. Like... Yeah. As far as the cast goes, they're all great actors. Like, there was not a single bad actor in this film. From uh, the creepy parents to our main character to the girlfriend... Fucking all the weird old people. 
even the brainwashed people all did great. They all gave great, very unsettling performances for the most part. Very impressive film. Just great. I don't I don't have anything left. That's it. Just go watch it. Please. Do it. That's it. That's all I got. I could talk about trailers, but I don't want to. I don't do that anymore. This isn't dashboard impressions. This is quality check. We don't talk about fucking trailers. I remember there was a King Arthur trailer, but that's all I can remember anyways. I think that looks alright. I don't think it looks bad, but yeah, you know, fucking I mean, get out. Go watch get out. Get out of your house and go watch get out. Get out. Alright. Bye. I'm gonna get out. So later.